I love photographing the night sky. Photographing the deep sky makes me feel like I'm diving into the universe, watching the beauty of nebulas like the Orion Nebula is just amazing. Photographing the star showers and meteorites that cross our skies and of course the magnificent Milky Way in the summer skies. In May and October 2024, magic happened with the arrival of the Aurora Borealis to the skies of Portugal. Being able to see and photograph this phenomenon was just incredible. I also have a huge fascination in photographing comets. These distant and ancient visitors who grace us with their presence. Comets that we only photograph once in our lives. First it was New Eyes, then Pons Brooks, and now Chushinshan. In this video I present you the journey to photograph him, which was not easy at all. The surprise was reserved for the last day. So let me talk a little bit more about this comet. It is called Tsushishan 2000 Atlas 2023 and this comet has made his way to the Earth. It has passed, surrounded the sun, the sun and now we are seeing him uh, going away uh, from the Earth. So these days here, the 10th, the, the, the 11th and the 12th of October are the better days to watch him and to photograph him because it's more brilliant but you can see it uh, until the 17th or the 18th of October so I'm going to try to grab photos from him in these days I'm kind of expecting today as I told you that I can do it however as you can see there's a big difference between uh, the Sun uh, or the, 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 the clear sky and the clouds and where the comet should be I have clouds so I am just waiting for the sky to open a little bit and I just ask for a photo if I cannot do it today I will do it tomorrow you can never expect good weather or conditions these things can happen well we are at sunset now and uh, we are entering in the blue hour and uh, no comet yet I cannot spot the comet yet the clouds are still there and I just hope I can see the comet in the upper uh, layer of the clouds a little bit at least and uh, just hoping that they are moving fast enough just to get more area free from that portion of the horizon otherwise I cannot see it I'm just praying I'm still praying <laughs> for me to see it it doesn't look bad at all but it's not looking good definitely it's not looking good <laughs> well just wait In fact, it turns out to be terrible. I just had a glimpse of the comet, which we can see here in this video, and of course the photos were not the best of the world. So, it was a no-go for the first day, and I couldn't be happy. In 
in the second day the same thing. I was out in the field hoping that the clouds would disperse and show me the comet but again the sky was full of clouds everywhere. At the end of the night I could have again a glimpse of the comet but of course again the photos were not what I expect because I just could see a little bit of the comet between the clouds. So this mission of photographing the comet was starting to be a complete disaster and I was so 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 unhappy. So this is the third day that I'm trying to get the Tsushishan Comet but I haven't been luck because the weather is not good, the sky is overcast and the clouds make it, makes it practically impossible to photograph the comet. So I'm going to try another time today, it's the third time because it's the last time that I can photograph the comet. The other days in Portugal will be completely overcast, so it will kill all the possibilities to see the comet. I'm not very sure if I'm going to photograph anything today, but at least we give it a try. Let's go. Wow, would you look at that light there? Amazing, huh? I don't know. I don't know if I see if you see it in the movie, but there is a magnificent light in there. So the sun is coming between the clouds and making those arrays of light. I'm going to try to photograph it. Let's go. So the night was coming and the clouds were getting thicker. My hope for photographing the comet was quickly fading. The best thing to do would be to prepare something to eat and have a good hot coffee. So yeah, uh, I don't think I'm going to be lucky today because the clouds are everywhere in the sky and I can't see anything so I don't think I'm going to photograph the comet today and uh, I prepared my meal I'm going to eat my meal and it start to rain now it's starting to rain so it's a no-go uh, I'm just going to try to eat <laughs> try to take a coffee and try to just take some advantage of being in the field well this can happen most of the times uh, I have good experiences in the, the field, I can make the photos, but today that is not the case, so we have to be prepared for that. Well, it's raining and um, yeah, if I can photograph the comet, I will put the photo in the video, but I don't think so. So we have to wait for another comet uh, to make more photographs, unfortunately. Stay tuned, subscribe the channel for more videos and I see you on my next video. Bye. Whoa, 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 and stop, stop, stop. Okay, guys, I'm not ready yet to give up from the comet. I am here today at Serra of Nogueira, near my hometown Bragança, and uh, I have a sort of clear sky. So I have clouds in the um, near the horizon, but I have more clear sky. So today, maybe I am able to catch some decent photo of the comet. But what happened today also is that it is a lot of wind, as you can see. 
I'm sheltered by my van and uh, I cannot use the 500 millimeter to catch the comet so I'm going to use only the 70 to 200 and pray that I have a good shot of the comet. Let me show you the conditions that I have today. So uh, it's not so bad than the other days. So you see I have, oh, 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 oh sorry, I have clear skies but in the horizon I also have clouds but let's see if I can have the comet. At least I'm going to make a better photo than the photos that I have already. So it's good. Well, let's go. Oh, and by the way, one, one small detail. As I don't have a second camera, I just have this camera here, my R5. I will not be able to, f to, to film the process. So I'm just going to shoot and then show you the results. Let's go, let's go. It is today, it is today. And there he was. Finally, I could see the Tsushishan comet in his best. At the fourth day of try, in almost at the end of the possibilities to see this comet, because he is rapidly fading out and uh, getting less and less visible. But I did manage to make two photos that I am really, really happy. So, this is now the end of the video. I hope you could enjoy this video and please stay tuned and subscribe the channel. Thank you.